Hey, what's up you guys? So today I'm going to be doing a different type of video. Um, I'm actually a seamstress as well as a swimmer. I'm not really into swim as much as I used to be. Um, I took a break this summer and I've been a seamstress for about four or five years now and I adore it. Um, but I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I'm not a really big knee high socks kind of person. And so uh, my best friend is moving and she <laughs> gave me a bunch of her really cute knee-high socks. She loves knee-high socks. I don't. I like my good old, not even touching, touching my ankle socks. So today I'm gonna be making a video about how you can make these socks this size. All right, so some supplies you're gonna need. One, or you could use two, just as a guide, your socks you want the uh, ankle socks to be. So like the size that you want, I like these kind of socks. The um, size you want your knee-high socks to be, it's the kind of sock you want to model. It's a model sock, like a pattern. You're going to need some scissors, sewing machine, thread, um, and this is optional, but I like freight check because this is a knitted fabric and they do fray and so after you're done sewing them you can just fray check them and they will not come undone and it's great um so now i'm going to show you guys some socks i just finished so i did this pair and these were my first pair so they kind of go over my ankle a little bit but i learned a little bit better after this so as you can see they uh you know i sewed this to them they originally were much longer, so I just cut that off. I'll show you guys that. So I finished those. I did another really cute pair right here. These have this. I'm trying to pull these out. These are really cute. They fit perfectly. These are great. And then the third pair I did was these little ones. So I did those and now I'm going to do these cute panda ones. So I'm going to show you guys um, how to do this and yeah, go from there. First things first, you're going to want to take your socks and lay them flat. So to where they're laying like this, flatten down one on top of the other. Line them up so that when you cut them, you're cutting them evenly. All right, right here is kind of where I'm gonna wanna cut it. Right there, and then I'm gonna cut it right about here so that I have plenty of room to sew them. Cut, I need new scissors so bad. All right, these are okay. So. Cut them like that, and then my seam is going to be a fourth of an inch. It can be a fourth, it could be half, it could be whatever you want. Now I'm going to cut these, but I'm cutting about a fourth of an inch from that black line. Got that. Now I'm going to take these and put them in a pile um, where I just keep all my scraps. I could probably find a project to use them with sometime you don't need it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our sewing machine out and I'm gonna show you guys how to line it. I'm hoping you can see this. I think okay so I have my sewing machine here. It's not turned on yet but my sewing machine as you can see has this little piece that can go in right here. Heaven knows where that is at the current moment. I'm in the middle of doing a lot of projects, so it's somewhere. <laughs> but I took that off so I can fit the sock over this big piece. I currently have a walking foot on and just a uh, needle that is fit to my special machine because my machine has a threader on it, so I have to have a certain needle. So machine is threaded. Does not matter what kind of um, thread you use. I'm literally using gray and white. It doesn't matter unless you're particular, do what you want to do. So I have my seam set to hmm, about a three and zero width, tensions of five, and straight stitch. Turn my machine on as you can see with the light. So 
I'm gonna move my scissors here. So I'm gonna take my little scrunchy piece, turn it inside out, and take my sock and put right sides together. So you're putting your sides like this, and you're gonna put it like in here. This is like the ghettoest video ever. I'm so sorry. But I, I, I didn't even search and see if there's any of these on here, but I just was like, why not? I'm making these. Why not share my knowledge? <laughs> so now that you have it like this, right sides together, and you have this little pocket, you're gonna fit your pocket over your machine thing. So I'm just pushing it in. So the um, thing that happened to me was my first little socky thing that I was sewing, I messed up and didn't make sure that both of my edges were lined up. So I missed an edge and it got nasty from there. So this also helps with stretching it because it's elastic and you want it to be stretched. Um, that way when you put it on your foot it stretches and you don't pop a seam and all the terrible stuff. So making sure that everything is lined up, I put it underneath this and I do I put my now I put my needle down, my foot's down, um, but I do a fourth of an inch seam from the edge of the black. So it's gonna be faced out like this, and my fourth, my pedal, uh, end of my pedal foot is right here. Not bothering with this. This is just insurance purposes. This is where my uh, edge of my foot is, and then my needle is right here. So you have a fourth of an inch seam right here. So you're gonna be sewing down this line. So, I found a really cool fact. So, if you still got to always make sure that everything's lined up, if you put your hand here, and if you have a walking foot, I don't sew, literally, I never sew, sew without my walking foot. I just, I'm weird, and I just don't like to. Uh, so, my walking foot helps a lot with feeding it. So, if you don't have a walking foot, and this doesn't work for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> so when I sew I'm not pushing I'm pulling with these two fingers back here so I'm just like with these fingers I'm just putting a little bit of uh, tension here just kind of pull it away from here and that way I have more control over what I'm sewing so with this hand I'm gonna use these fingers back here to move the fabric so when I press on and every time I move, my needle's down. That way you don't, you know, mess up really badly. Make sure everything is nice and good. Sometimes you have to do it manually. My thing is on here. So just keep going. See, I already know I'm gonna have to redo some of this. I just feel it. So when you get to the, um, you know, final round where you started, you'll see your threads, and you're gonna want to backstitch. Okay, I know you backstitched in the beginning, but just for insurance purposes, you're going to want to backstitch. Um, and then you can, you know, lift your needle, pull it out. If your machine doesn't have this, I'm sorry. That is my little clipper thingy. And um, so now I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna inspect my edges. I'm gonna see if I was right about me having a thing. All right, so everything is all good. My seams are perfect, perfect. Um, and now we have the inside. So I'm gonna go do this other sock and then I will show you guys what I do next. So we have our two socks sewed and ready to go. Now, this can be your last step uh, that you could be done. And if the bulk in the sock doesn't bother you, wow, that's, it, this is interesting. You guys, wow, how fun. Little, little loss of hair over here. Um, I always try my socks on to make sure that they fit nice and they're positioned where I want them. If they're not, you can rip them and restart. Um, or just sew in 
a little bit more if you don't feel like ripping them that's up to you so the next step I do is I cut them with my trusty scissors so I take and I just cut off the excess um, so, you know, just see where your seam is. Don't cut your seam. And then after that, I go in and I put fray check on every inch of the seam to make sure that they don't fray and they don't, you know, go crazy on me. Thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing blessed day. Please subscribe and share my videos. Comment if you have any suggestions. I'm a seamstress. I quilt. I love quilting. Um, if you have any guy, if you want a video on binding, I can do a video on binding. Anything you guys, please let me know. I enjoy this so much. I adore sewing and I just want to share it with the world. Okay, peace out. I know. I'm sorry. I've been looking over here. My eyes are here. You are there. I'm so sorry. Videoing is so hard for me. Okay, again, bye.